The figure shows three squares of sides 3 cm, 8 cm, and 6 cm. First, find the total area of A and B. It's a one mark question for that. And B, find the area of the shaded part. Three marks for that. It's a paper two question, and you can use the calculator. So let's, the first thing that you do when you see a diagram like this is to find the length. Okay, so this is a square. I know this is also six centimeters, and this is eight centimeters. And you get to notice some things. Firstly, let's take a look at this triangle here. Do you know the length of this part? Nope. You don't okay and there is another triangle here I can find the area but I do not know this so that's out and look at the middle part that shaded this is an odd shape like a trapezium kind of shape right and I do not know the sides so it's pretty hard to find the area by itself so the way to tackle this question is you have to use the whole thing subtract parts and you will get the parts that you want so you have to decide what's the parts that you want to subtract and what's the whole thing that you're using because of the lengths that are unknown to us it is very difficult to find out the area so I'm going to simplify the problem by drawing extra sides or extending the diagram itself and you should see a huge rectangle appearing can you see the huge rectangle and I'm gonna label the side it is 8 centimeters because of the middle square and the total length of the whole rectangle it's 3 plus 8 plus 6 and that gives me 17 centimeters so I have decided the whole okay and let's take a look at the three parts that I want to subtract the first one okay oh I forgot to mention that part A is actually pretty straightforward okay later on we'll find part A so the first part is this which is a triangle combining of consisting of A and B so this is the first part that I'm going to remove from my entire whole rectangle okay this is the whole rectangle and if I remove this and the second part is this rectangle here is it possible for me to find the area of the rectangle because I know the length of this and the length of this so it is possible the next one is this entire triangle that we have here a huge triangle okay but before you do that you might want to find the base which is this length it is 8 plus 6 centimeters which is 14 centimeters and of course, you have no problem knowing the height because it is 8 centimeters. Okay, so I will remove this green color portion. I'm going to call it X. Okay, let me label it X. And I'm going to call this portion Y. Okay, so let's do... You may pause the video now and try it first before I continue solving the question. Okay, so A. Find the total area of A and B. So the height here is the length of the square, which is 3 centimeters. So applying the formula to find triangle, half times base, the base is 8 plus 3, which is 11 centimeters. So half times 11 times 3. And since you can use the calculator, the answer is 16.5 you should have no problem doing the first part of the question now B okay so back to our 
this formula that we have here, the whole thing. So I'm going to find total area. So total area, let's focus. 17 centimeter the length and the breadth is 8. So 17 times 8. I'll find the area of the big of the biggest rectangle that we have here which is 136 okay now let's find area of X which is this green color portion highlighted here so this part is 3 centimeter because of the square at the bottom is equal length and now the length here what is it now if you compare 3 is here and the whole length here is 8 centimeters to find this red color portion I have to take 8 minus 3 I get 5 centimeters so since this is a rectangle it's 3 times 5 which is 15 centimeters square okay so now I have X and I have Y uh, I'm finding Y now okay Y's area it's a triangle so the base is 17 oh no the base is 14 centimeters ah, you have to be careful 14 centimeters and the height is 8 centimeters okay so applying half times base times height and I'll have 56 okay now let me circle the important parts here okay so 136 is the entire rectangle to find the shaded part I am just removing the purple portion the green portion and the blue portion so I'm going to use all these values that I have found to do it so I have my 136 minus first let me subtract the purple portion which is 16.5 then next I subtract the green color portion which is 15 then lastly I subtract the blue color portion which is 56 and using the calculator, let me try, 136 minus 16.5 minus 15 minus 56. I have my answer as 48.5 centimeters square. And that's it.